Hi, let's learn how to remove background from a video using Canva. It's a fairly simple and straightforward process. For this feature, you need Canva Pro account. If you don't have, you can click on the link in the description box below the video to get your free Canva Pro trial account. It is our affiliate link. Let's get into the video. The first step is to go to videos. In that, I'm going to choose this option called create blank. Then I need to upload my video file. So let us go to uploads, then go to videos, go to upload files. I've already recorded a small clip of myself talking. So let us select that and say open. This is a very short video. It will not take much time to upload. In general, I've seen that Canva is comfortable removing the background as long as the video is not too long. Let us place this on the canvas. So I'm going to place this over here. Do you ever look now at we have this video. If you observe closely, the background is not made of any single color. I just shot it in my room and you can see that there are quite a few elements here. Let us see if Canva is able to recognize these elements and remove the background. The next step is you select the video and then go to this option called edit video. Then all you need to do is to go to this option here called background remover. On a single click, you would be able to have the background removed. Let us see that. So this is a single click and you can see that the progress is happening. Initially, it may show just 1%, but then it does a fairly good job and does it fairly quickly as well. It is at 90% right now. It must have taken around 20, 25 seconds. This is a fairly short clip of around 5.3 seconds. Maybe it would take a little bit longer if the video is slightly longer. Now, let us see the result. Do you ever look at some presentations and wonder, why can't I create slides like that? I think it has done a beautiful job here, even though the background was not in any single color. Now, once we have this in place, then we can play around with different types of backgrounds. First, let us try and add a photo background. When your video occupies the entire canvas, it's a good idea to detach it from the background. For that, you need to right click on this, go to detach video from background. You can see now this is detached. Let me place this to one corner. Now I'm going to pretend as if I am talking inside a boardroom. So let us go to one of the photos and I'm going to search for a boardroom photo. And here I see a beautiful option. I can click and drag it and leave it in the background. You can see that the photo is in the background and here I am. Since I have the head almost covering the top area, it is a good idea for me to extend the size of this so that it is natural. So here you can see that I have really done a pretty good extension. Now this is pretty nice. Let us see how this one looks with the background. Do you ever look at some presentations and wonder why? As you can see, it's fairly sharp. It looks quite natural and I'm quite happy with the result. I can see a lot of applications for this kind of photo behind your isolated video. Now let me try and add a video clip in the background instead of the photo. Let me first resize this a little bit and then select the background and hit delete. Now let us go to videos. Once again, we will search for a boardroom video. Yeah, there are quite a few interesting options available here. I want something which is fairly blank. Maybe something like this. I can just click and drag it to the scene. You can see that it is behind and here I am in the front so I can place myself somewhere in the corner like this. Now this is like me giving a commentary on what is going on behind. Now let us preview this. You will notice that both the video in the background and my video would play simultaneously. So let us go here. Do you ever look at some presentations and wonder why can't? Fairly nice, isn't it? Now, what are all the ways you can use something like this? Now, let us say you want to do a software demonstration and you've got a screencast grab in the background. You can put yourself in a small corner in the bottom right and you can give your commentary on what exactly is happening out there. Let us say you want to talk over your slides. You can have slides in the background with you talking in the corner. So there are so many ways you can use this specific feature. It is available in Canva Pro. It's a fairly new feature. It's available in its beta version right now. I'm sure over time it will improve even more. So go ahead, sign up for a free trial of Canva Pro by clicking on the link in the description box below the video and see how this wonderful feature works and you can take your videos to the next level using this useful feature. To watch another tutorial from me on Canva, you can click on the link here. 
I'll see you in the next video.